there are no uh, no therapies without side effects and that includes immunotherapy uh, checkpoint blockade um, we're dealing with a lot of different uh, side effects compared to chemotherapy and so we do need to get comfortable uh, to be able to manage these type of side effects and help patients understand what to watch for um, certainly uh, the um, several different um, groups have come up with guidelines most recently ASCO and NCCN have partnered to develop uh, guidelines on how best to follow patients as, as well as treat and then monitor patients when they're being treated for these type of toxicities certainly would recommend um, all of us to read those over a couple of times um, and then help educate our partners in, in the team of people that take care of our patients, including nurses, um, pharmacists, as, as well as others who are on the treating team. And then also go out and educate the um, people who are on the front lines of seeing our patients, which can be uh, internists as well as uh, uh, emergency room specialists who see these patients when they come in quite ill. The mainstay of therapy is giving uh, steroids, which are immunosuppressive, uh, but when giving steroids, we don't see that the response rates dimin diminish to the checkpoint blockade from a tumor standpoint, uh, but typically steroids do alleviate the toxicities. Uh, patients with endocrinopathies, which are most common, we most commonly see hypothyroidism or hyperthyroidism, we can treat through those type of toxicities and replace uh, the thyroid hormone and patients do quite well long term.